lacking hope? So I've been thinking about this because I had a situation happen this week that really kind of rocked me a bit. Um, I'm a very trusting person. I always believe the best in people and uh, was told about something and shared about it and discovered afterwards it was a scam. And this person, she's known to some people I, I know and she was trusted and she was part of a group and she preyed on that group and she preyed on me by, by, by basically being dishonest. And it's easy then to give up hope, to say, people can't be trusted, everyone's out to get me, um, you know, to have no hope in, for humanity. And I know that uh, in many places in the world, including here in the United States, people feel hopeless. They feel like uh, things are going in a direction they don't like, and there's nothing they can do about it. And it could be because they're looking at the political situation, or it could be that they're looking at their lives, that they just don't see how they can uh, change their situation, and they're hopeless. But the fact is that we have to have hope. We have to have hope because hope is what drives us forward. It's a bit like faith, but it's, it's that feeling that there's something better in the future and that we can make that uh, something better um, part of our life. It's something to look forward to. We're hopeful for a better future. We're hopeful for a better life, a better relationship. And I think that when somebody, especially, um, you know, it's easier to think about it in this sense, that, you know, it's um, a mom who did something really kind of bizarre and not good. And um, rather than being hopeless and saying people just can't be trusted, it's better to, to look at it and say, geez, what is it that drove her to do this? And it could be anyone. I mean, you could be thinking about a terrorist. What drove a terrorist to blow up a building or to set off a bomb, to fly an airplane into the World Trade Center? What is it that would drive somebody to do that? What would drive somebody to scam a bunch of unsuspecting people who they've been in relationship with to some extent for quite a number of years. I mean, what would, what would it take? What would it take for you to feel like you had no choice but to do this? And on the other side of that coin, what would it take for you to feel hopeless and yet generate hope for that you could do something different, something different that would actually solve your problem or head you towards a better future? Because we don't have to resort to doing things that are illegal or that are hurtful to other people. We really don't. We can have the hope that doing something else, something legal, something uh, caring, something honest will actually get us where we want to go. So I, I felt really this week, I mean, seriously, I had a couple days where I felt almost physically sick from this. And I'm feeling better because I started to, rather than feel accusatory and judgmental towards this person, I started to wonder what would drive this person to do this? What would drive them to, I mean, what, what desperation would drive them to do this? And when you start to think about them in human terms, it brings back your own humanity. And it brings that back your hope and your faith in humanity because we all make mistakes and we all struggle and it's how we deal with those struggles that makes the difference. And so I want to encourage you to have hope because I don't want you to, to do something desperate, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be something illegal. There are people who are so depressed and de desperate that they take their lives. I don't want anyone to do that. I don't want anyone to do something illegal. I don't want anyone to do something harmful to themselves or to others. I, I want you to have hope. And so it's my challenge to you. It's my challenge to you to find a way to have hope. And how can you do that? I can speak to how I do it. For me, um, I begin to envision a better future, the future that I want. I am very, begin to feel compassionate towards others. So like compassionate towards this woman. 
Okay, so, so I envision a positive future. I feel compassion for other people who are struggling. Uh, I, I try not to be judgmental, right? To, to drop the judgment and instead go to a place of love, love and acceptance. Big thing, love and acceptance. You don't have to approve of what somebody does to love and accept it. If this is what they felt they needed to do. And I practice acts of compassion and kindness for other people because I know everybody's struggling on some level. And so to be compassionate and to, to um, do acts of kindness for others is helpful for me. And you know me, my, my whole thing is, is inspiration, right? Passion plus purpose equals inspiration, inspired action, inspired results. And so I go there. I go to what am I passionate about? What is on purpose for me? Um, let's not get too distracted by all this other stuff. Just stay on purpose. Stay passionate about what I know is important in my life and other people's lives. Stay on purpose. Do the things that are on purpose for me so that I feel inspired and I take inspired action. And that's going to help me generate the result of hope and faith and happiness. And the last thing is to be of service. I found that over the last two days, I was coaching some people in very short 15 minute spots, just asking them what their struggles were and what their dreams were. And by offering them even a tip or two and helping them to feel more motivated and inspired to move towards their dreams, I felt better. So yeah, I was doing it a little bit for myself, uh, but actually at the time I didn't even know that. I was just being of service, and by being of service, it brought back my hope because I could see how some of them were struggling and felt desperate, felt like there was no solution, and they were able to, to get out of that through, through talking to me and getting a few tips. So those are some of my tips for you if you're feeling hopeless. And we all are there sometimes. It's, it's sort of a human factor, human nature. Um, I'm a very positive person though. I tend to have a lot of faith and hope and to always think the best and to think positively. And so that made the situation even worse because I was thinking the best, right? And then I discovered that I had no reason to do that. But I did have reason to do that because that's how I want to go through life is always thinking the best of people, having hope, having faith, seeing the potential, the possibility of a better future for all of us. So I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I hope you enjoyed this uh, and that you found it inspirational and helpful. If you uh, would like to find out more about me, please go to ninaamir.com and check me out. If you're interested in high-performance coaching, go to ninaamir.com forward slash free session. And I'd be happy to spend an hour with you for free on the phone and talk to you about where you are now and where you'd like to go and give you quite a number of high performance tips and habits and mindsets that will help you. So until then, go out there and achieve more inspired.